Final Fantasy is a marathon, not a sprint. The game is overwhelming enough without the extra clutter that the default settings and HUD provide. So let's take a minute and declutter it. Go ahead and start by pressing escape or the start key. Go to character configuration, hotbar settings down here near the bottom, and the display tab at the top. Go ahead and check hide on a side slots, uncheck display hotbar numbers, and uncheck hotbar cycling button. If I turn all these on, you can see at my HUD, it just looks worse, so just don't even, just don't even. Something you want to get used to from the get-go is legacy type movement. So go into character configuration, control settings, general tab, make sure this is on legacy type. It's way easier to deal with AOEs using legacy type movement if you want to stay the fuck out of the orange peels. That's like your number one objective in this game is don't stand in the goddamn orange peels. Uh, something else that might be nice, um, a lot of times this game is incredibly uh, particle heavy. Um, if you go from general to character over here, uh, you'll see battle effect settings and this allows you to tweak uh, the crazy particles and animations that other people are throwing out. Um, so I generally have everyone else as limited and I like seeing all my special effects, but again this is mainly to preference. One of the more important ways to declutter is to choose whose name you see in game. So go ahead and go into your character configuration settings, display name settings, and uh, if you go to own, I would just kind of start off by clicking hide or minimize and then turning turning everything on from there. Uh, I never want to see my own name except maybe if I target myself, you can, you can always do by hitting the F1 key. Um, for others, um, you always want to see your party members' names so you can have an easy read on where they are. You always want to see your alliance members' names. Make sure they're a different color than your party member, um, so that way you know who to group up with. Um, you can change the color of any of these name tags by clicking and then selecting from the color palette. Um, I just abbreviate the alliance members' names uh, just because I feel like it's cleaner, but it's all up to you. Um, you can tweak a lot of these settings if you really want to. You can kind of see what I have going on here, but the long and short of it is um, my friends are the only names that I want displayed all the time. Uh, and I don't want to see the random other motherfuckers who are just strolling through Limsa and just have Limsa just be a swarm of white text of people I don't care about. Um, so for NPCs, I think I pretty much just left it on default, uh, general, yeah, I think that's all default there, too. Some other convenient settings here. If you go down to the item settings tab, make sure these are on the highest values, i.e. open all and expanded. If you go down to UI settings and scroll down here, um, I believe these are checked by default, the play guide and recommendations. I thought they were annoying, so I just unchecked them. I would recommend you do the same. Um, now if we go over to party list here, um, this uh, defines uh, who shows up at the top of the party list whenever you're playing. Uh, for tanks and healers, you definitely want to keep this uh, generic role of tank, healer, DPS. For DPS, um, if you're a DPS main, I would change it to DPS first because a lot of your buffs that like say Dragoon or Dancer have are going to be, uh, you're going to want to use them on your other DPS players, so it's easier to just have them on the top of the list there. First things first, let's go into how to set up our hotbar for our job abilities here. I'm not going to go into which abilities should be used for which job, there's plenty of videos on that. Uh, go ahead and hit escape to bring up your system menu, click on HUD layout. Now that's a lot of fucking rectangles at the start here, this is way too much, so just go ahead and click on hotbars here, that'll bring it down to just your main customizable hotbars. Now, if you click and drag while holding the shift button, you can see it'll kind of go on a grid, whereas if I don't hold shift, it'll drag freely, so I like to keep everything kind of on a grid just so it's nice and tight. Now, you can go ahead and click on this little cog to the right of the uh, current UI element uh, box, and that will bring up the settings for the hotbar that you have highlighted. Now, I prefer to have my job abilities on the 12 by one layout at 60, so the absolute smallest. Again, all of this is personal preference, but something that you want to keep in mind as you get better at the game is that you want to be looking at this hotbar um, the least amount of time possible. The goal is to have your rotation, which is the combos that you need to execute, become muscle memory, so that way you can focus on the center of the screen, on the fight, on the mechanics, on the boss, on your party members. But if you're new, you suck at the game, it's fine, everyone does it first, and you're going to be glued to the bottom of the screen. So some people, like I used to have my hotbar on the side of the screen, uh, like to the right of my character, um, you might want it a little bit further up, 
This is all personal preference, but yeah, that's how I set mine up. Next, we're going to go over the system list. So go ahead back into your HUD layout and make sure you have this little box in the middle checked for the system HUD elements. Now, first thing I want to bring up is the enemy list. Now, um, I was a uh, uh, green in the ears, uh, wet behind the dick, uh, new tank, and I didn't realize how important this was. Tanks, please have this somewhere where it's very easy for you to click on all the individual enemies. Um, it's very helpful with aggro. If you see an enemy in this list and they are, uh, they have a green dot next to them, that means that they're not pissed at you. And if you're a tank, you want everyone pissed at you at all times. So click on the name with the green dot, use your tomahawk um, or long range little poke ability, and and then they'll get right on your ass as they damn well should. Now, I would imagine the same or a similar principle applies for healers and wanting their party list somewhere that's easily clickable. So that way if they see one dipshit just uh, isn't paying any attention to the mechanics, they can heal him and get him back up to full, or just know which player to leave alone uh, if you're a white mage. Um, either way, I don't play healers, so I'm just assuming that that's important, uh, but uh, it's up to you really. If you're a DPS player, um, the party list can probably go somewhere like here if you just want it more out of the way and want more center of the screen real estate, but um, you should probably have the enemy list close regardless. Next we're going to talk about the target info and status info bars. Um, if you have the default HUD, you might notice that mine is actually split up a little bit and you can do this by um, clicking on your target info and then going to UI element settings and then clicking on display target info independently and again same thing goes for the status info. Um, so what this allows you to do is place the different elements of the target gauge and the status gauge and resize them and place them accordingly. I actually have the progress bar for the target a little bit uh, larger than normal and right in the center of my screen because as a tank that's pretty damn important. Um, as you can see I have the status uh, pretty damn close as well. The HP is right up at the top because like and that's not, like, I don't really need to see that. Um, now for the status info, um, the other status you really don't need to worry about too much. It's mainly like if you've uh, like eaten food recently, if you have FC buffs running. The enhancements is uh, sometimes useful, that's mainly just your own buffs that you put on yourself. Now the enfeeblements is where you really want to have it visible um, as this goes into a lot of um, more higher end raid mechanics. Um, so maybe if you're a lower level player, like I think I had this all as one bar for the majority of my playthrough for the main story, but if you're getting into high end raiding, uh, the enfeeblements is really important. Make sure you have that clear, invisible, easy to access. One last thing I forgot to mention, um, your job icons. So each job will have different icons in terms of their special abilities and whatnot that they have to control. Um, you can find it under system. I play Gunbreaker, so for me that's Powder Gauge, and uh, I have it switched on to simple mode. So if I uncheck this here, you can see that there's this like kind of cartridge looking thing that'll light up, and it's just kind of extra. So I just put it back to simple mode, and if I exit here, it just gives me like two diamonds. If I do my uh, rotation, it'll give me one orange light, the two orange light, and that's how I kind of keep track of uh, how many charges I have available. So yeah, uh, your mileage may vary, uh, everyone's job is different, but if you feel like your job is just kind of like too flashy, um, you can go ahead and change the UI to simple mode and it makes it a lot easier to deal with. Next we are going to configure the chat window. Now it's courtesy for streamers and anyone recording footage for YouTube to blur out or obscure their chat window at some points, but you know what, I think the world needs to see. Uh, so now, boom, there you go. You get to see all the horn dogs that were in fucking Linza's <coughs> closet. Now, you're going to go ahead and click on the chat log settings here. Um, this will allow you to change what you see in these four little tabs. Now, the one thing I would recommend, now all of these are kind of personal preference in terms of what you want these filters to do, but I would have at least one party filter. Um, so go ahead and click on uh, number two we'll use. Um, just go ahead and click uncheck all. It will remove everything. You have to do that for battle. I think you might have to do it for each of these. I don't remember, but in announcements as well. And then just go to chat and I would enable everything like party and alliance. Um, you can do emotes if you want as well and then un uncheck everything else and then what that'll do is while you're in dungeons you just have a quick and easy way to see what everyone else on your team is saying. Um, you can also uh, choose which type of chat you're, uh, you're um, cha chatting in. Uh, cho <sighs> you can choose who you're chatting to by clicking this little uh, speech bubble on the left here and then selecting if it's the party, the alliance, the free company, etc. 
Now you can also resize this window by clicking on this little uh, triangle here in the top right. You can see it glow yellow and then you can drag to resize like so. And boom. Last thing you can do is in the character config uh, log window settings, you can go to log text colors and you can change the default color of what all this text shows up as. So if you want to have like your free company show up as red and uh, stuff in your party to show up as green, then you can fucking do that and have yourself a whale of a time. Again, it's important to note that you can't actually resize or move the chat window at all when you are in the HUD layout option. So again, to resize, you click on this little triangle on the top right and to move it, you click on this little nub or sorry, you don't click on the nub, you just click on one of the tabs here and you can pull and drag it around. So yeah, you can do that. I like to have mine right in the bottom there. And yeah, now we're cooking with fire. Enough easy shit. Let's get fucking fancy. As you can see, I have created a mini hot bar that uh, brings up the list of classes that I can change to at any time. This is really easily accomplished with macros. Basically, we're just trying to create two hot bars that have everything that we may want to use but just not have on our combat hotbar on our screen all the times and make it so that at the click button you can turn off or hide these hotbars. And this is really easy to do so go ahead and click on escape for system, go to user and macros here and let's see where it is. As you can see it's as simple as just typing slash HUD and then naming the HUD element that you want to show or hide. Now the key to this is to make certain hotbars shared. So if I go back into hotbar settings and sharing here, you can see I have hotbars 4 and 5 as shared. Um, now obviously the first three hotbars are going to be my job abilities and I don't want my bard uh, sharing my gunbreaker's job abilities. So uh, just I would put 4 and 5 are uh, safe options. Go ahead and in my HUD settings you can see my hotbars. Uh, hotbar 5 is right over here, that's what I use to change classes, and then hotbar 4 is right here, that's what I use for the change class menu, uh, emotes, and whatnot. So yeah, just code that macro, and then once you have the macro coded, you just click and drag it over here, and then you can click the button, and boom, you're done. And there we have it. You now have the cleanest UI known to mankind. Now once you have something you're happy with, go back into your HUD layout, Click the little gear on the top right here that says HUD layout settings and from there you can copy uh, your HUD layout to all your other HUD layouts. Uh, it's easy from there to make alterations like I was saying earlier. I do have a slightly different HUD. Uh, this is when I'm going through MSQ or just doing side quests and then this is when I'm raiding. As you can see there's pretty much no fat left here. Uh, it is all lean and ready to go. So yeah, if you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe so I don't have to go back to college and... Oh! Oh, you were curious about the blue? Oh, it's really simple. So to turn on the blue menu here, the first thing you have to do is 